So we look at this house and obviously you can see it's brick siding. You might not know right away if it's totally brick house, which means it's just like two layers of brick thick with no wood, or if it's a brick veneer with a wood frame behind it. In this case, it is a wood frame behind it and I'll show you how to find that out a little later. If your house is solid brick, concrete or masonry, when you probe in the wall to check for insulation, there will be no empty space. That's how you know. Almost always siding that looks like this is asbestos. And it's very thin, so you know this is a very hard material because it's that thin and lasts a long time. The good thing about asbestos tile is it'll last as long as the house. The bad thing is if you ever need to do any sort of renovation or any repair or pieces crack for because a tree fell in it, whatever, it's a big issue. To do it legally is quite significant because this is a hazardous material and it has to be dealt with properly. This house has wood siding. That's fairly obvious and it's my personal favorite of all sidings. The problem with wood, however, is that you often get little cracks, little, little things happen like right here I can see a little bit of a nail head that's just popped out enough to make a slight gap. There will be a tiny bit of water intrusion through there and over years and years if you don't deal with it that could rot some of the wood. And if you look at the siding there it looks like um, metal siding and if you're not sure just walk up to it and you know feel it. And last but not least there's vinyl siding which is very common these days. Just like with metal siding you'll know what it is when you tap on it. Metal feels like metal, vinyl feels like plastic.